we need to start with us and that might be a common thing or an, an issue that you're like, I don't know where to start. Like I'm having these issues. I don't know where to go from here. I don't know where to turn. And my answer for that would be to turn to you, turn to yourself. I have been writing a book that has to do with all the lessons I've learned from horses. And actually in the first chapter, it is all about the power of ourselves and looking inward to find the answers, not necessarily having to seek it outside for that outside validation or that external knowledge that we possibly really do have on the inside and we have it inside of ourselves and it just takes learning how to uncover these things into trusting ourselves and trusting what we feel is the right way for us specifically and just that power that power that we actually have within ourselves to really find the answers and for my experience I'll give a bit of a backstory that the story I talk about in the chapter is a while ago a couple years ago I went down to the states to learn from professional trainers I was gone for four months and I really was in a desperate place of wanting to get answers and mostly just answers for barrel racing and how to train these horses and how I could do better because I knew I had it in me, but there was just things that weren't working. And so I was on the mission to find the answers. And it's so funny when like in life, you set out to do one thing and life basically just says, yeah, like buckle up. We're doing something completely different because this is actually what you really need. And through that experience, I'm so thankful that it turned out nothing like I had planned. And that really is what brings me here today. So I just have to be nothing but, you know, just grateful for the experience. But it, again, it was not anywhere near what I thought it was going to be. And what I mean by that is I went down there to learn technical skills so I could be a better competitor and a better trainer. And while I did learn really important things, it wasn't that, that one golden key that I got. It wasn't like I went there thinking, okay, when I come home, I'm going to have this secret formula that no one else has. I'm going to have it all. I'm going to have learned all these things from all these people. I now have the answers of how to ride and be a good competitor, how to train my horses, all the things that I thought I wanted and that I really needed in order to feel successful and in order to feel like more than myself in order to feel actually fulfilled and you know, like, oh, I'm, I'm actually doing the things like I needed to win is basically my, that was my motive and it wasn't coming from a good place. So when I was down there, as I did learn a lot, I wasn't allowing myself to trust my own self and my own skills and my own inner knowing and knowledge that I already possessed. And I went down there like a sponge. I learned a ton and there's nothing wrong with that. But the thing that I was missing that I'm telling you right now is that I was missing just my own trust. I was missing the, I, the thought or the, I was missing my own style. I was missing me as a person. And if that sounds confusing, I'll explain. So I went down there. And I started mocking all these people. I started mimicking them. Oh, you ride like this. Okay, let me adapt that style. Let me ride exactly like you. And I did. And I did okay. And it was fine. And that's what I mean. When I got home, I thought I literally had this ticket. I thought I had all the answers. But again, I was just riding like other people. I wasn't really riding like Shelby. I wasn't riding how I always needed the feel or in my competition runs, we always resort to our natural state. We always have something that we fall back to. And that is just our own natural style. It's our own uniqueness that we bring. And when I was in the States, I got detached from my own uniqueness that we all really need to embrace and to use in order to actually truly succeed and also to be consistent as a rider and as a competitor and just as a person getting through day to day of trying to achieve more and just be a bit better every day we need to start at the point of ourselves we need to use our own unique style skills who we are as an actual human we need to hone in on that and come from that place learn from that place of how can I adapt this that feels right for me, that I can actually take this information and warp it a little bit that it actually fits my style and it actually fits my life and what I'm trying to go for. And 
we all again like I just love when riding and training reflects and relates so much to life of just we are all you we are all so unique and I was missing that piece I was just trying to be like everybody else and so the second I got home I flunked so bad so so bad it was I was embarrassed like I was gone for a summer and then I come home and I can hardly perform a barrel pattern on my derby horse and it was just constant every run it was just not a good scene and I was so frustrated because I was like what the hell just happened like I thought I had all these things in life just basically threw me a curveball and like said Shelby sit your ass down you are not done yet like you need to learn this lesson. And so I really, you know, it was painful. And I did have to learn that lesson of it starts with me. It starts with you and you can learn, definitely learn, but again, don't, don't diminish your own style for that and think that the only way to get that result is by following other people that might have that result. Because there is also a lot, there's a way bigger picture out there than just, you know, winning that race as well. And yeah, it's just, it was just an interesting experience and one that I'll never forget because now who I am, I've learned so much from that because it's like the thing I wanted so badly, which was winning. I eventually had to really surrender that idea that winning was everything and once I kind of let go of that let go of that result that I needed to have and I just made an Instagram post talking about should the word that I should is I find really dangerous and not beneficial for our growth and just for our outlook let's say approaching a competition and I was really stuck in there I thought well I went to the states I should be doing way better or I'm like you know like you just have these expectations and when you're not delivering you really start doubting a lot of yourself but the thing is if you come at that place of your authentic self if you come from there there is no doubt because you are you and you can't really have those questions because you know who you are you're going to learn who you are so when things don't go quite how you want you always have that default of your own inner knowing and that is your foundation so back to the beginning of the starting with you to go full circle it really does start with you it starts with again, like building that foundation of you knowing you so well that no matter what happens you can go back and ask yourself these questions ask you what went wrong where you felt was not correct and seek the validation that way seek it from internally not in the external world because you don't have control of the external world we have control of our own inner self our own inner being our own inner world and i learned that when i was seeking the external answers of what am i supposed to do like how do i do this and i was doing it for a while but i was totally missing the whole point i was missing the biggest piece there is and that is myself that is trusting my own self, trusting my own style, my own intuition, my own riding abilities, my own training abilities, my own overcoming defeat abilities, like all the things I was missing. And so when I face those struggles and those obstacles, because it's bound to happen in life, like we always face those things. Like we can win one day, this weird paradox of win, lose this, this, like breathe in, breathe out. Like we're always facing that resistance or the opposites we're always having the one with the other and so if you're winning you're not going to be winning forever like there will be that comeback and that's just life so I (laughs) I felt that I learned that and it all really did come from having to honor and embrace those struggles and again realize what really was important out of the whole situation and I learned that it wasn't necessarily the winning it was more me being super comfortable and confident and secure within myself and that took taking a step back and that took not needing that external answers or trying to find desperately those external answers that were going to give me that golden key it was slowing down and learning that I have those answers. I can get those answers myself and I can learn in a way that I will never be wavered of these answers because I truly believe and I have that knowing. And we're like connecting those dots inside of ourselves of 
you know, what works, let's say what works on the outside, like what's in regard to barrel racing or training horses, we can watch people and observe. And I love observing. I love watching, learning from others. And I can see it real time, like what is working, what isn't working. And that's awesome. And I do love, like learning is amazing. We can learn and adapt. We can learn and experiment. And there's a difference between learning or just (laughs) copying someone learning is on your own and learning is a gift and it is just it's fun like you can make learning fun because you're experimenting through life and that is what life is for and we're pretty fortunate that we get to experiment beside horses and on top of horses and using them as a part of our teacher and our own coach so it's a incredible thing that we're given to use to experiment with these uh, lessons and these life lessons and really how they apply to the really big picture. I think it's absolutely beautiful and magical and it's my favorite thing ever. So when we come to ourselves and we start with us, we're building that foundation. And when we approach situations with that, of having the control, being the one responsible for us and our actions, we start to take more accountability And with accountability comes making decisions that really suit us and feel right for us. And if you are honest and being really real with yourself, we're going to be coming at a good place of good intentions. It's not like you're going to do something and be like, well, this felt right for me, but it was a horrible thing for my horse or horrible thing for this feather person. But if you really break down those walls and get honest with yourself and come from those good intention places, no matter what happens, you're going to be using it as the experiment. It's experimenting through life. It's letting it teach you the things. And then you can use that knowledge and continue progressing and evolving as your own being. And then with that, when things do go south, as I was saying, I think I got off track a little, but when things do go south, you are able to navigate yourself back because you learned the right answers that fit for you. And it's different for everyone. Like I can teach you how to barrel race. I can show you my style, but it needs to click in your head and your body. It needs to feel right for you. And that's the fun part. I finally have come to a place where I'll still learn. I'll watch videos. I love watching like just random recaps of big rodeos and big races and seeing how these people barrel race an actual jockey and do competitive runs. I love it. I think I learned almost more from that than watching someone do slow work, but still the slow work and watching training videos online are so good to hear different perspectives. But then you have to ask yourself these questions of like, why does that make sense? How does that apply to me? Do I understand this fully? And if not, just keep watching and keep learning and keep trying to apply it to you. And you asking yourself these questions of, does it make sense? And eventually it will, like eventually you will have your own style and that will be the best feeling of life because you're going to have that internal validation and you don't need it from someone else. I hope this is making sense. And I hope this is giving yourself a little bit of that power that you do have within yourself to find these answers and to find them in such a way that You cannot waver from them. No one can take them away from you because you went through and you did the work. And sometimes the work sucks. Like the work can be hard. Like I went to the States as a try and like a getaway free card almost. I went to the States thinking, oh, I'm just going to learn from them and then I'll be set and then I'll know all my shit and we'll be good. And I'll just, you know, be the best brow racer in Ontario now. (laughs) Like, I'm not even kidding. That literally was in my head of like, I have the golden ticket, but I tried to cheat the process. I tried to just pretend and I tried to get a, um, you know, a shortcut, but I really found out that I don't think there is such thing as a shortcut and me trying to take the shortcut actually put me back quite a lot. At the time I thought, I thought it did. I thought I could hardly perform a barrel pattern. I was like, what just happened? But within all that struggle was a lot of growth and a lot of change. And now I feel I'm actually at a place that I don't need that external support. I don't need to always look outside for the answers and just be desperately asking and needing this answer and needing someone to tell me what to do. Cause I know what to do. I am myself. Like I know how I operate the best out of anyone on this planet. I know me. And once you know yourself, that is your golden ticket because 
you just know everything you do, every decision you make, you understand yourself in a way that what is going to work the best for me. And every decision you make in life, you ask those questions. What is going to work best for me? When you're writing, okay, you have the foundation done. Now what? How is this going to work best for me and my horse? And I guess horses really do bring a really challenging obstacle and element to this whole equation because they're their own being as well. So us coming together with a different being that doesn't speak our language, our verbal language anyways of English, we have that new challenge of, okay, what works for me, but also what works for my horse and that change and that fluctuates. And that's what gives us this, this beautiful well-roundedness that we can become because we're adapting to others. We're adapting to like the outside elements, but we're always going to stay true to us and fall back on what feels right and proper for us. And again, that is your own story. Like you got to, you figure that out for yourself because no one can give you that answer. You have to give yourself that answer. And that is my (laughs) long-winded topic for today, just about starting with you, just about the power that you already have within yourself and that you can really quote in a corny, (laughs) corny way, grab the reins and you are the controller. You are the controller of your life. I mean, grab the reins like for yourself, like not the horses, but you as a person. And once you establish you and start with you and start doing decisions every day that are going to get you closer to what you truly want, that is your North Star. And, you know, we keep learning, we keep growing, we keep changing, we keep getting new ideas. And that's beautiful. But again, the foundation needs to be really solid. So no matter what happens externally, your internal world will not shift and crumble because of what's going on on the outside. It's just going to help you almost grow because you're so confident in yourself and your own being that whatever happens, you'll be okay. You're going to take it as a positive, not a negative. You're going to take the obstacles and the struggles as, okay, what is this teaching me? How can I learn and evolve even more? by this because you have such a good foundation like think of building a house you don't just start with the roof and then expect everything else to just fall into place but if you have that solid foundation everything grows from there if you are growing a garden you start with the soil that's your foundation you have a solid base then everything can grow from there but if you don't have a solid base nothing can really grow and to me I really believe our full purpose here is to just grow and evolve and be our own best version of us because that's really you know we are us we are (laughs) I am I (laughs) I don't know but like we're all just our own person and we all are here to do something and I think it really is to just become our best in whatever way that is for you so there is no competition in that sense and I mean there's so many things I can unpack here but I just want you to think of that maybe every day like that little affirmation of like what is my foundation what am I gonna what do I want to grow And how do I build it in a way that fits for you and suits you and feels right for you? And yeah, it all starts with you. This is your life. And we're just a part of it being here. And uh, I love it. Like, I think it's just a great thing that we all can do and share together, especially the horse aspect of it. Like we go to these races, we all love it. We're all there for the same reasons. And maybe not the same reasons, but we all should be there for the same reason. And that should just be for ourselves to enjoy that present moment of competition and enjoy that relationship that we're building with these horses and just enjoy the ups and downs and knowing that all those things are helping to build your foundation and helping you to grow. And it's not a bad thing. It's never a bad thing. So thank you for listening. And I really hope that you start to see just the power that you have over you to be your own best coach because you don't need to go find the outside answers. And this is probably, I'm going to just finish off with saying like, this is where I probably struggle with trying to build weekend hustle. And I'll be completely transparent with you because if you've been listening to a while, you've seen it grow, you've seen it maybe change, or you've been watching me maybe wondering like, Hey Shelby, what the heck are you actually doing here? Like, what's your point? (laughs) Like what's, what's the offer? Like, what are you going with this? Like your messages What's the next step? And to be honest, like that's been a bit of a hard area for me of really identifying because I believe in this so much, like what I just talked about of we are our own best coach. We have the answers. We 
have this inner knowing, this inner wisdom. And I know that I've felt it. I feel it all the time. And that's what I'm sharing with you is just these things that I feel are true and that I believe in that have just been impactful on my life and on my progress and how I feel about myself and how I feel about the world and just enjoying my life, you know? And so that's why I share this, but it's hard to tell people as far as marketing goes, Oh, like you have something wrong with you. And I feel like marketing, it's always like that problem. Like where, what is your person missing and how can you help them? But it's like, they're not missing anything. (laughs) Like it's hard because I know you're already complete. Like you already have all the pieces, but I guess for me, my thing is to help you realize that you have all the pieces. My goal and I guess my job and my mission is to tell you that you are good enough. You have it all. It's just up to you now to use it to your full, full potential and to your advantage and to shine through it all, to use this life, use your, your situation this form of you use it to adapt and to grow and to become resilient to the things that happen and to step beyond that and I know that all comes from you it comes from your own self and I learned that I had to learn that because again like this whole story of trying to find the answer from someone else and I was like I have the answers and it took a long time for me to find them so I guess I'm here to tell you that you have all the answers. (laughs) It just might be a little bit harder for you to find them right now, or you just might have a foggy vision and you just can't quite see it, how clearly that I can see it. But that's what I'm here to do. So with that all being said, I, um, yeah, we're, we're making some things. And I just love that you're all a part of it right now and have been with Weekend Hustle and hearing the journey, hearing the story, because it's not over. And just because you might not be where you want to be yet, doesn't mean you're never going to get there. And I wrote this the other night, and I think I'll just finish off with this. I just said that when you like your first day of life on earth, you didn't learn how to walk, but that didn't mean you were never going to. So just give yourself a bit of credit, go easy on yourself. And just because you're not there yet, And then this goes to my Instagram post of the should, I should be here. I should do this. I should, I should be farther along. I should, uh, I'm just saying that (laughs) those things never happen when you're actually evolving into like your adult self. So just go easy on yourself and just, just, just remember that, that you're taking the actual natural progress and process that you need to take. And it's a beautiful thing and just keep going and keep trying and just know that it's not impossible. Like a baby might think, oh, it's impossible to walk. I can't even hold my head up. What do you mean? I'm going to walk and run and jump and skip whatever. But in time it is possible and people do the impossible every single day. So just remember that and know that just because you're not there yet doesn't mean you're never going to get there and just keep, keep going and keep knowing that you can really that's the whole point. We can hustle. It's like, oh, we can, we can do it. We can do whatever we really set our minds to and whatever we want to create. So yeah. (sighs) Thank you so much for listening. I just love feeling that I have a place to speak and that I have people in, in my life that listen and get something out of what I have to say. And it's hard. It's such a mental game. I think so many things we do really um, in my experience, you know, just thinking like, oh, I can't share my voice. I don't have a platform, but it's like, I do. And everyone does in some big way or small, doesn't matter. We all have a platform. We all share our voice. So I'm just really, really thankful that you're here listening to mine and listening to what I have to say and just giving me this platform. It's incredible. And I'm really thankful. And I, want to just keep showing up and keep doing it no matter sometimes how hard it is or how I feel I'm not worthy of it but I just really think you know we all we all have a voice we all can bring something valuable to someone's life and if I bring something valuable to yours just it's just great I don't want to cry but it's just it's just really nice and makes my heart feel full so thank you thank you thank you everybody and have a great time. If you're barrel racing, just remember, focus on you, be present one, one barrel at a time, focus on first, get to the second and third when you get there and just let it happen. Just let it flow and 
relax, have fun. It's a process. It's a journey. The journey's not over after one barrel race. Okay. So just let go easy on yourself. Enjoy yourself. Cause that's all you're here for. And, um, that's going to be the end of my little message for today. So thank you so much for listening and we'll talk soon again. If you want to follow we can hustle, it's on all platforms. It's everywhere. If you want to work together, I did release a little mindset and barrel racing webinar. So you can get access to that. I'll put the link below. It's free instant access. It's about 30 minutes, just me sharing my training style and also sharing some mindset, my, maybe not mindset, but my perspective and my outlook of how I like to do things and how things feel right for me. So if you can, again, use that and warp it in a way that feels right for you, then that's great. And if it works for you, like share, let me know how, how it's helped, but you can, um, you can check that out. It's on Instagram on my link, link in bio. <laughs> also, I'll put the link below. So you can, um, if you want to watch that, it's, it's completely open and it's available and free for you. So again, uh, thank you so much for listening and we'll talk soon. This is goodbye for now.